Hi everyone, let's start with the third section, Authentication Hacking. In this section, we will cover how to configure Firefox to use Burp Suite as a web proxy in Kali Linux, and how to use Burp Suite Test for web authentication issues in WebGoat, which is an intentionally vulnerable web application maintained by OWASP. Video 1. Install WebGoat. Video 2. Merging with Burp Suite. Video 3. Mozilla Firefox Settings. Video 4. Editing Burp Suite Proxy. Video 5. Burp Suite Testing. In this video, we're going to be installing a web vulnerable program called WebGoat for our practice and getting our dirty as we move on in other sections. What is WebGoat? WebGoat is a deliberately insecure web application maintained by OWASP designed to teach web application security lessons. This program is a demonstration of common server-side application flaws. Before installations, users must demonstrate their understanding of a security issue by exploiting a real vulnerability in the WebGoat application. Warning 1. While running this program, your machine will be extremely vulnerable to attack. You should disconnect from the internet while using this program. WebGoat's default configuration binds to localhost to minimize the exposure. Warning 2. This program is for educational purposes only. If you attempt these techniques without authorization, you are very likely to get caught. If you are caught engaging in unauthorized hacking, most companies will fire you. Claiming that you were doing security research will not work, as that is the first thing that all hackers claim. Installation steps. Visit the link provided for you below on the slides for installations and requirements. Visit https colon slash slash github.com forward slash webgoat forward slash webgoat on the Kali Linux Mozilla. You can download the standalone 8 version. For new version or older better version and understanding of the installation steps, right click on the link and visit the site https colon slash slash digitalcowboy.github.io slash 2017 slash how to get webgoat 71 up and running inside of Kali. We will be making use of this version 7 for our course. On Kali Linux terminal type this or copy and paste on the terminal this wget https colon slash slash github.com slash webgoat slash webgoat slash releases slash download slash 7.1 slash webgoat container 7.1 exec jar. Remember, webgoat is an intentionally vulnerable web application maintained by OWASP. Now wait for the installations of this version. I already have this installed, so you can go right away and click the enter button after typing the wget https colon slash slash github.com slash webgoat slash webgoat slash releases slash download slash 7.1 slash webgoat container 7.1 exec.jar on terminal. The file may be in the home directory, so move this file into the download directory, cd download, into the directory, now use ls-l to list the files in this directory. In the list, we will find the file called webgoat container 7.1 exec.jar. This is our downloaded standalone version 7 webgoat for this course. Then we will execute Java and provide the jar file on terminal. Java hyphen jar webgoat hyphen container hyphen 7.1 exec.jar. This will execute and start our webgoat ready for hacking and pen testing. Wait for the execution on terminal and please do not close the terminal or else this will shut down webgoat and we won't be able to run webgoat on our Mozilla browser. Now open Mozilla and type on the URL http colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 slash webgoat. This will redirect you to the webgoat. Note that the http hyphen slash slash localhost colon 8080 slash webgoat link is case sensitive. After redirected to the main webgoat page, we get the username and the password. This page means our webgoat is running well. That's all for this video. Installation steps. First head to your Mozilla browser to this link https colon slash slash github.com slash webgoat slash webgoat slash releases. To download the version 8 of webgoat, select the webgoat hyphen server hyphen 8.0.0.m21.jar file and download.
Now let's downgrade the Java version our Kali Linux is using, so we can get WebGoat server up and running. If we don't do this, this will cause error issues with WebGoat and it won't make any sense. So to do this, open your terminal and type this command to downgrade your Java version. Run apt-get update before this downgrade. Commands to downgrade. sudo update-alternatives-config-java. When given an option, select 3, then enter. sudo update-alternatives-config-java-c. If you get an option for this, choose 0. If no options, ignore. sudo update-alternatives-config.java-ws. Choose 1 for this if you get an option. If not, ignore also. After this downgrades, update your repository again using apt-get update. After this, now let's go to the downloads directory for our WebGoat 8 version. On the terminal type java-jar-webgoat-server-8.0.0.m21.jar. Then enter, wait for the server to load, and this will start the WebGoat server and we are ready to get hacking. Open Mozilla and visit this link. Type http colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 slash webgoat. You will be provided with the webgoat login page. If this shows means our server is running properly on terminal, please don't close the terminal when using webgoat. On the webgoat page, click the register new user. Type in your username. I'm going to be using mine as hero. You choose whatever you like and password, choose whatever password you like and accept the terms and conditions tick box. Done. And this will log you into WebGoat and ready for hacking. That's all for this video. The purpose of this video is to help you out with WebGoat version 8 issues many penetration testers and learners are facing during setup.